Going green is really an idea that's sweeping the whole globe, and that includes companies here in Maine. One of the top companies working hard for the environment and our furry little friends who love it so much is Planet Dog. And here to talk with us is Stephanie Volo, the top dog here Hi, at Planet Jack. Dog. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Now, you guys are really a, a, a company that's involved locally in some exciting projects that I want to get to in a second. But before we do, tell us a little bit about your focus, because I know you have a real environmental focus. We do, and always have. Um, about almost 11 years ago when the company was started by Alex Fisher, one of his core values was maintaining and protecting the natural environment. He studied and modeled the company after um, companies and organizations like Ben and & Jerry's and Smith and & Hawken and Patagonia, those companies that are also values-led. Um, one thing that we did and we still try to do is make our products out of eco-friendly materials. And like we use natural hemp and organic cotton, we've used recycled plastic for our fleece in the past, and some of our award-winning products now called Orby Tough are made out of all recyclable components. So that's great. I mean you know, that says your company focus, but you also have a foundation, I know, that's doing some amazing work. And there's a new project coming up with Portland Trails that looks like it's going to make a fantastic difference here in town. Absolutely, yes. Um, the Trust Republic Land and Portland Trails have come to us to talk about how we can, you know, help the community be more green with their trail system. Well, it starts out back, so maybe we can go take a look and you can give us the overall vision of what's, what's going to happen here. I'd love to. All right, let's go. So Stephanie, right here in the middle of Portland, it's a little green space that you guys are going to utilize for something really exciting. So why don't you tell us about that? That's right, John. Um, a couple of months ago, the Trust Republic Land and Portland Trails approached Planet Dog to let us know a little bit more about the Bayside Project. And what that project entails is um, another trail system that will connect Daring Oaks to Eastern Prom and actually connect the entire city's trail system. Oh, that's great. It's really exciting. Now, um, we were down here and you guys had an exciting little party that's kind of kicking this whole thing off where you did some cleanup to get it going. We did, we did. That was um, June 6, National Trails Day. We thought there was no better, no better day at all to sort of announce the project, the Bayside Project, and let people know about the trail itself and what, what our intention is. Um, at the beginning of the day, Portland Trails, um, the Trust for Public Land, Planet Dog members, and, and members of the entire community got together, started down at Power Yoga, and actually started to blaze the trail, where it's going to be located. And they ended here right around noon where we had some festivities going on. We had the Bayside Neighborhood Association, the City of Portland, Trust Republic Land, Portland Trails, the Plant Dog Foundation, just a bunch of information where people could ask questions, get more details about the funding that's needed. Um, Portland Pie donated about 50 pizzas. Nice. We were able to munch, munch, munch after that really hot, hot day of blazing the trail. We were just able to share as a community about the really exciting greenway that's proposed. And that's what's great about this, I think, is that this isn't just about you guys or, or Portland Trails doing this. You're really including the community and wanting the input from the community. It is. As you said, that is the most exciting part, I think, of the, of the project, is that getting the community involved to understand more about the natural environment, how we can protect the natural environment, how we can urge people to commute in a way that they maybe haven't been able to do in the past, yep. um, and actually do it together, again, on the trail system, and especially down here in the Bayside neighborhood where revitalization is so necessary. Oh, they, absolutely. They need it. As you can see, we're in you know, urban city here, and we need it. We need to clean it up. We need to get it going and, and connect the trail system for the entire community. Right. Now, Portland. you mentioned commuting. That's a great idea. I mean, if someone could ride their bike or walk to work, that'd be great. Absolutely. But this is something that it still needs some work to be done, and I know that there's some money to be raised. Absolutely. We are definitely in need of, of funding still. The sort of technical, formal launch will be this September 28th. That's the plan anyway, so where we really are able to get the campaign out there talk about it, talk to people about the funding that is still required. Um, we're about halfway there. So it's a $5 million project. We still need about $2.5 million. Um, and hopefully we'll get that in, yeah. a, in a relatively short oh, time. Well. well, thanks for talking with thanks, us. Thanks, John. Take care. If you want to get, If you want to get involved with either Planet Dog or Portland Trails, give them a call, trails.org or Planet Dog. You can check them out on the web. And let's make this a reality. Absolutely. Right, let's take thanks a Thanks so much. Here. Okay.